Welcome to Adobe Animate CC a Basic Introduction and Overview. So uh, here I have Animate open and I wanted to switch real quick to the Adobe site for the Creative Cloud and just show you uh, just real quick what's been going on. Uh, this is latest version for 2017. And as you can see, if we scroll down here, uh, we do have Photoshop, InDesign, all the typical programs, Adobe Animate, which is fairly new. But it says right here, Flash Professional is now Adobe Animate CC, interactive animations for multiple platforms. So essentially what they did is they've basically gotten rid of uh, Flash, regular Flash. They have Flash Builder still uh, for coding, but they have um, uh, essentially renamed it, repackaged it into Adobe Animate. And they also got rid of Adobe Edge, which was the uh, HTML5 sort of web platform and so now Adobe Animate can kind of do both so let's switch over to Adobe Animate and show you uh, what we're going to do we're actually going to create a, a banner here um, in Adobe Animate you used to be able to do that in Flash and uh, you can choose create new HTML canvas directly from the welcome screen we can go file new and do the same thing so if I click file new essentially I brought up the new document and you'll see here there's lots of different things you can create. You can create HTML and Canvas, uh, WebGL, Action Script, um, uh, you can create uh, actual apps, the Air uh, sort of packages for both desktop, Android, and iOS. And uh, so we're going to choose the HTML Canvas. And we're basically going to uh, adjust some of the settings here, but we're going to do it um, right here with the width. So we'll go 720 here for the, uh, the width. Type in 720 by 300 for the height. Now, typically the frame rate is 24 for film, but since we're going to be on the web, uh, we're going to go with 30 and basically click OK. So uh, what we can do now is basically hold down the space bar to get the little hand tool to reposition our stage here. Over here, uh, essentially you have your properties tab, and you can adjust those same properties here. So if you want to adjust the width and the height, you could do that. You could change the stage color. Um, but basically, this is the overall workspace. It has a timeline down here at the bottom. And this kind of reminds me of uh, Adobe Flash, the layout here. We have the output here, timeline. Uh, you have your properties tab in your library. So if you're used to Flash, uh, it's, it's very similar. You have all your tools over here on the right. Um, you have all your controls at the very top here. And if you hover over them and kind of scroll, you'll actually see some that seem similar to Flash. And that's because this was Flash. Uh, you know, they basically repackaged this whole program. Uh, they do have different workspaces. So you can switch to the animator workspace or the classic workspace. And it will adjust in the fly here. Now it's uh, having a little bit of pause issue. There we go. And this was essentially the, the classic sort of Flash workspace that I've been used to. Where I had the timeline at the top, the tools on the left. So I'm probably going to work in the uh, the classic workspace here, but uh, you can also create your own workspace just by clicking on the workspace after you adjust however you want, and then basically remove it. Um, you could adjust all these different panels here. You can grab them, drag them, uh, drop them out just like you would in any other Adobe application. But that's the basic overview. We kind of have our stage set. At this point, we want to save our file. What I'm going to do is on the desktop, I'm going to actually create a folder basically that has um, uh, some sort of project for the naming. So I'm going to right click and create a new folder and I will call this uh, zombie add <laughs> uh, and then hit return and that's where I'm going to actually save this file. So I'm going to call it uh, go to file save as and under again scroll down the desktop on the left there and double click in here and this is where I'm going to save this file and I'm going to call it zombie banner so zombie banner dot FLA look at that the FLA extension is there so we'll go ahead and hit save and uh, pretty much that's it for this tutorial the basic introduction to Adobe Animate CC until next time 